Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a custom prop for GTA 5 slash 5M. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Y2YP Creator, which will be linked down in the description. Okay, next you are going to need uh, 3DS Max and uh, Gims Evo. Okay. First thing you want to do is you're going to load up. Open it up. And the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, get a reference point. So usually you would have like a building in here or your actual MLO, which I'll bring in right now. find it okay get your shell okay so you get your shell and then you'd want to make your prop so uh, we'll just do a quick prop make a cone and we'll make a uh, we'll make like a little box We'll just make a box. Get a nice box. So you'd have your model in or whatnot. Let's make this like a TV. Which it won't look like one, but let's call this a TV. So you got your model. Your so-called model. You want to put a texture on that. Standard, materials, general, gims, you go, uh, we'll make it, wow, uh, metal, metal solid, one, apply it, go into your gims, let's make this a metal panel, embed the texture, preferably have your textures on hand like I do not so plug in my drive real quick okay so you'd have all your textures on hand okay. I'll always make this metal I like that texture. Quick UVW map it. We'll make this real small. Like that. Nice panel. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to center it. Now that it's centered. Delete the shell. Make sure this is on the front view. So turn that. Uh, turn on rotation snapping. <coughs> <coughs> Make sure all your polys are good. Light color on the outside. And then you want a name. Call this tutorial underscore prop. Clone that. Make it a copy, not an instance. How about that? Okay, first thing we do: create object, model, model. Make sure that is centered. Next thing we want to do is going to go your composite collision. Same thing. You want to make that centered. Map animal, map cover, map dynamic, map vehicle, map weapon. Now we're going to make this an embedded collision. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the collision in the model. Pick one of them, put one in the collision, put one of them in the model. Like so. This one's the collision one, so we're going to put a collision modifier on it. 
Next one, we're going to put a model. This one we don't have to touch. We're going to map animal, map cover, map dynamic, map vehicle, map weapon. Now we're going to want to rename this to tutorial underscore prop. Same with this. Tutorial underscore prop. Okay, yeah, we got everything there. That's the whole hierarchy. You can change the LOD distance. I'm not. Okay, now we're going to export it. Make folder, prop. Make sure. Continue. Now we got our prop exported. We can close this. Don't have to save it if you don't want to. Open up Open IV. Mods update x64. We'll go to our tutorial file. Open up our uh, what's it called? Go to your desktop, and then we're gonna find our file. Throw this in. We got our prop. Got our bounds. That's our collisions. Yeah, we got the prop. 12 polygons, 24 vertices, nothing huge. Okay, so this is not going to go in our tutorial. It's not going to go in our interior. We're going to make this just a regular prop. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a YTYP for it. Create a Y2YP. Go into the creator. We're going to open ODR browser. Open. Open again. And we're going to find our tutorial. And find our ODR. Calculate our BBs. Import. It's an embedded collision. And we're going to put our flag 32 on it. We're going to create it. And now we're just going to view it. Item to the item. 5 to 22. Copy. X that out, X that out. Uh, yeah, we probably should not. Never mind. Make sure this is it. That's it. Now we can import this. That's our Y two Y P. Okay. I'm gonna rename it. Uh, we can call it tutorial. Actually, no. We're gonna call it tutorial prop underscore prop. Yeah, we can put that in a folder. Prop tutorial. That's gonna be. Uh, so we're gonna take our tutorial prop. Throw that there. Take our Y2YP. Throw it in there. We're done with Open IV. We're gonna open up our Code Walker. We're open up our files. Open files. Find our file. Open them all. Now, let's say we want to place it in a good, we'll place it right on the airfield. Right here, right in front. Now let's make a Y map. Everyone should know how to do this. Very simple, new. Make a Y map. Let's name it. Tutorial underscore prop. Go to our Y map. Make a new entity. Tutorial underscore prop. Right there. There it is. Now we're just gonna. It's in game. It's there. Well, let's just put this straight up in the middle. Floating. Doesn't matter. Calculate our extents and flags. Make sure this has 32 on it, which it does. Manifest, generate a manifest, 
And then we're going to want to save the Y map. Look at that. Save it. There. Close up everything. Now we can put this in our test server. New folder. Tutorial. Underscore prop. Actually, no. Just throw this folder right in there. There it is. There it all is. Start up our server. Get. Load up our 5M. Join our test server. Yep. You join our test server. Oh, wait. One other thing we never did. Don't follow me. We did not actually make a stream folder. We're not streaming this right. We have to actually stream it. Okay. Ha. Ah. Probably should stream it next time. Just copy this. Throw it in here. Now we can actually do it. Minor mistake. You actually want to stream your file right. Okay. Okay, when you load in. Okay, once it loads, it's good to take a sack. So you need a snow clip to where you put the prop. And it's here. Yep, there it is. Look at it. You could admire it. Look how beautiful it is. You could shoot it. run at it has collision works fine okay that's about it just make sure uh and to fix this glowing i did that in my door i showed how to fix the glowing at night like that weird glow effect i taught how to fix that in my other tutorial on how to make a door i'll link that down in the description and with a time marker okay well that's gonna be it for this video if you have any uh, suggestions or comments, uh, put it down in the comments. Or you can join my Discord, which I will link in the description. And uh, that's, that's about it. See ya.